1,500 meters. The athletes are on the line, and there he is, the top athlete of the year, Hisham El Garouche, blowing kisses to this crowd of 50,000. Stadium holds over 75, and it's a tribute to these fans turning out on a night like this. And you see some of the competitors. There's 19 in all. Seneca Lasseter from the United States is in the race. And the number one, two, and three ranked 1,500 meter runners in the world last year are here. And we'll single them out for you as the race begins to unfold. There are rabbits, as is the custom in Europe here, led by the 1988 Olympic champion, who I think is about 75 and has his AARP card, if he was an American, William Tanui from Kenya, who is out in the lead. And he is quite 30, almost 39 years of age. Well, it seems a little foolish to even be talking about world record pace uh, in conditions like this. Uh, El Garouge has stated that he's in that kind of shape. Bernard Lagat is slowly but surely working himself into his race form. Got a little bit of a late start on his season with the bad weather that he had up in Pullman, Washington, where he used to uh, be a Washington State Cougar. They see Tanui out there, and the gold bib is being worn by Hisham El Garouge. approaching the 800 meters. Speaking of that event, we should tip our hats to David Krummenacker in a non-Golden League event. He won today in 144.83 seconds. And there you see David Lalay, number 113, who is the rabbit, forcing the pace here. 153, solid time, but it's going to put them, I think, out of reach, really, for the record. Second place to getting the rabbit. There is Bernard Lagat, ranked number two in the world last year. Right behind him, number three, William Chichir, a product of St. Patrick's High School in E10 in Kenya, which has produced so many brilliant runners under coach Colm O'Donnell. And there you see Hisham El Garouche, and he just strides along. He is just amazing, Dwight. I cannot imagine how an athlete can run the mile so fast. Well, what we have now is going to be a great race. It's not a race for a record time, and Bernard Lagat is trying to run the kind of race he feels he needs to run to stay in contention with Isham El Garouge. But what he has said about El Garouge is he is so brilliant in this race, he just makes a move, and you don't even know that he's made it, and suddenly he's got five or ten meters on, him, on you. I've got to try and stay in contact and try to match him stride for stride the last 150 meters, and there's that gap I was talking about. The difficulty is Lagat runs so well for 1,500 meters. As an 800-meter runner, he's only run 146, and that is too slow to try and stay with it. Hisham El Garouge, he's run 144. 248 by 1,200 meters. Just over 100 meters to go. Crowd standing on its feet. Everybody here and powering down the home stretch. Hisham El Garouge trying to hold on desperately. Bernard Lagat from Kenya. It's all El Garouge here. And the crowd roaring. Garouge has the fastest time in the world, does LG. Winding up second is Bernard Lagat. And himself, that's well under his best of the year. He had no time close to it, did Lagat. And El Garouge just keeps on dominating his competitors, but that one race eludes him. He has not won the Olympic gold medal in the 1500. He says he will stick around through Athens with his favorite event, but you just have such a problem catching him when he's in full flight like this. But I can tell you the way that Lagat has been talking about how his training's been going. Wait till the later races in Europe, the late Golden League races. You might see a little bit of a change. And that's a good point because he did it in a late meet last year where he stayed with him and almost beat Hisham El Garusha. was in Brussels, and that is a good month plus away. More than almost two months away, as a matter of fact. Hisham El Garouge winning comfortably here in Paris, but by less of a margin than he won in Oslo just a week ago. Glancing up at that big Diamond Vision screen, knowing he has the race well in hand here as he approaches the finish line. Fastest time in the world easily this year, as you would expect. And look how comfortable he looks. It's just shocking. That is the equivalent of about a 3.46 mile or so, maybe even slightly faster. And there are the top three results that you see. We should also add that American Seneca Lassiter wound up 11th in the fastest time by an American this year, 3.36.73 seconds.